in my hair. Hello, hi everybody. So over two years ago, my family and I went to Iceland and we got to see a live volcano. So uh, where we went, there's now a nearby town that might be evacuated. The volcano that we visited didn't really have any risk of a neighborhood nearby being impacted. Of course, there's the animals in the area who are going to be impacted, but there wasn't human habitation that needed to be evacuated. On Iceland TV, you could keep tabs on what the lava flow or visibility or safety was on any given day or moment so you could prepare ahead of time. Driving in Iceland is really beautiful and the drive to see the volcano was no exception. Finding the actual volcano was a little bit challenging, so we ended up asking for directions and we were able to find the correct parking area. Then we chose the path that we wanted to take to see the volcano. We think this way. It was so exciting walking up to real lava. It was like being dropped through time into dinosaur land or something like that. So you can't touch it, right? You can't touch it. Or you can touch it. cold. This is hot, but it's just, it's warm. It's like, it's retained. So like right here is cool. And that, make sure you've got your balance. Wow. That's cool. Okay. This is inside the earth. I got to touch like just out of the earth lava like what you read about in grade school when you're hearing about like the layers of the earth i was able to like touch what was inside the earth it kind of sounds gross <laughs> i don't really want to touch what was inside my dog recently or anything like that you know but inside the earth's okay and it was amazing it was fascinating That doesn't smell good. There are not a lot of warning signs in Iceland. Like you're kind of like left to your own intelligence. Uh, so if there is actually a sign telling you it's dangerous, like you should listen. And we saw a sign that said, don't stand on the lava. Even if it's black and it doesn't look like red lava, there could be red lava inside of the black lava, which is still really, really hot and will boil you to death. The sign was not that explicit, but it was the basic gist of it. And so we did not opt to stand on the lava, as exciting as that may have been. The hike itself wasn't so bad. I was a little bit anxious about it because I knew there would be no bathrooms and I'm someone who pees a lot. So I was careful about my water intake and had been trying to expand my bladder in the weeks prepping for this event of volcano hiking. It went really well. Everybody was able to successfully make it as far as we could go, as far as they would let us go. There were several different routes. We took one that I think was the shorter one, which was fine because on the day that we went, the visibility wasn't great from any angle and so it wouldn't have made much of a difference.
<laughs> it's not far. It was epic sketching the volcano. It was really difficult to do because it was really, really, really cold. It was cold and it was windy. It wasn't at the bottom when we first started hiking, it wasn't that windy, but as we walked further and further up the hills to hopefully get a better view, like basically when we went, we knew visibility was low, but we were hoping that things would improve once we got there and that we'd get to see. So as we climbed up the hill to try to get a better view, it did get colder and colder. Uh, and then I eventually sat down when I kids played with volcanic rocks and I sketched for a while and it was so cool to get it, capture it in person. Even though I don't really feel like my painting's done, I don't really want to mess with it because it was like the experience. Wrong. Wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? You get dressed, I'm like a mess. And you tell me to confess. And you tell me to confess. Oh. I don't know what to say. It was interesting seeing tractors around that were moving dirt out of the way. I wasn't quite sure what they were doing, if they were making paths, if they were making lava dams. I don't know, but it was cool to see them there. And then I also liked really like zeroing in on some of the vegetation there, some of the vegetation that's probably end up getting destroyed, but is really this delicate, beautiful, um like uh succulent flowers and they were growing on the volcanic rock that's from who knows when the last eruption was i'll i'll put the year here and you know the these it'll be interesting to see what grows again once the lava has flowed over the areas that we were walking. I'm assuming the lava was going to get there, but I don't really know. But it'll be interesting to see what grows after the fertile the fertile <laughs> soil is replenished by the lava flow. The drive back to Reykjavik was beautiful, just like the drive there. Thank you for all of you who made it to the end. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.